Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my unboxing and product tour video of the HTC HD2 mobile phone. So let's have a look at what you get inside the box. Now this is a marvellous touchscreen phone, absolutely uh, massive screen size. We're looking at a 4.3 inch screen size on this phone. Now I'm going to give you a closer look at the handset in a short while. Well, let's just pop this to one side and we just briefly take a look at what we get, else we get inside the box. Now we get a micro USB cable, so micro USB on one end and then a normal size USB connection on the other end. Now this can be used for either tethering the phone to your computer, perhaps to use it as a mobile or to transfer data across or to synchronize it, or it can be used in combination with the supplied charger. So you get this adapter here and then this part, depending on your country, will be slightly different. We're in the UK, so we've got this three-pin UK adapter. That snaps on there, and then the USB cable goes in here, so you can plug it into a wall socket for charging. We also get in here some little uh, attachments for the earphones. They're just two little uh, sponge pads and also a little clip so that we can attach the uh, earphone cable to perhaps a, a shirt or something to keep it tidy and then these are the earphones themselves they're nothing spectacular just bog standard earphones they sound okay um, but as I always say in, in a lot of these reviews if you're serious about your music you're going to probably replace these with something better anyway on this end we've got a standard three and a half mil audio jack so let's pop this package into one side and then let's give you a closer look at the HTC HD2. So let's give you a physical look at the HTC HD2 now. Um, and then I'll go into showing you some of the user interface later on in this video. Well, as I said earlier, we've got a 4.3 inch screen on the front. It runs a massive 480 by 800 resolution. So fantastically high resolution. Uh, underneath the touch screen, we've got these physical buttons here. I'll give you a closer look at those. And they're not touch sensitive, they are actual physical buttons. When you push them, they do have backlights behind. We've got one for starting a call, we've got a home button, we've got access to the Windows start menu, we've got a back button and a call end button, which doubles up as the power on off. And then on this side of the handset, we've got a volume rocker switch. This side on the bottom, We've got a micro USB connection, the microphone alongside, and a 3.5mm audio jack. This side is completely clear, as is the top. And then round the back, uh, we can gain access to the battery, SIM card, and memory card uh, under here. The battery is a 1230mAh. Uh, while I'm on the subject of memory, 512 megabytes of memory built in for, for ROM, that's for the actual operating system. 448 megabytes of RAM. It also supports micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes. Just above the battery cover, which is a, a nice feeling battery, it's sort of this brushed finish. We've got the camera, which is a five megapixel camera. It's autofocus, and you've got a dual LED flash alongside. And then this side of the camera, we've got a speaker, nice clear speaker, very good quality. And then let's go back round to the front before I show you this uh, user interface, just a couple of other bits of technology to mention. We have got Wi-Fi in here, also Bluetooth, which supports A2DP stereo. And the operating system is Windows Mobile 6.5 Pro. It's a nice snappy handset as well, very, very quick uh, and responsive, and that's thanks to the one gigahertz Snapdragon processor. So let's fire this on, we push a button, we're presented with the uh, lock screen, I can slide to unlock. Now normally with uh, Android based handsets we're used to being able to swipe between different home screens. This one's set out a little bit differently. We've got the main home screen here which shows the current time, weather, calendar, access to some shortcuts to applications. If I swipe up I can also gain access to more shortcuts and I've got some empty spaces here to add some extra ones in. Um, slightly different access to the other screens instead of swiping left and right up here we've got little 
uh, icons down here and I can move my finger across them to go across to contacts again empty slots there to add in more contacts I've got messages window I've got an email icon there internet calendar very nicely laid out and thanks to this massive screen nice large calendar I really like that a lot then we've got stocks then we've got photos and videos now I am going to be showing you a separate video um, covering the camera performance of the HD2 uh, but I will briefly show you how it shows photos you've already taken and you can actually swipe through like so and then when you get on a photo you want a closer look at you can tap on it and it takes it up to full screen it does support pinch and zoom so I can do this action here move around the image I can pinch back out to full screen so really really nice uh, way of doing things and double tap to zoom in as well and then back to go back to this sort of flicked stack view of photos so really nicely presented then we've got some uh, music application and again it shows cover art we've got play pause skip backwards and forwards a little progress bar that comes across then we've got uh, weather and then we've got a Twitter client here and then we've got footprints this is a, another thing that HTC have developed and it's really a way of just tracking uh, various um, outings you've had or trips via photos nice way of stacking uh, photos again and then so we've got settings as the last one across and you really can configure absolutely everything that you want on this handset with ease back to the home screen uh, we've also got a notification area up here I'll give you a closer look at that that shows you things like I've got Bluetooth switched on um, I've got no SIM card in the speaker switched on so I've got volume and my battery level and then in this corner is the start menu and this is the Windows start menu I can access it by pushing this button here or by tapping in the top left and this is where I gain access to the the rest of the applications on the the handset I've got things like Internet Explorer my YouTube today screen albums again footprints camera camcorder multimedia the marketplace games Office Mobile, Outlook, Windows Live, Tools, Search Widget, Task Manager, the list goes on and on. So fully featured, a lot of applications pre-installed and a handset that really is nice to use. I think the only thing that sort of lets it down is I've been used to the iPhone or Android based mobile phones and the, the Windows uh, Mobile 6.5 Pro software doesn't really do it for me but that said does everything a regular user would want you can keep up with your Facebook with your Twitter you can certainly make and and take calls and send messages and emails so it does everything that you'd want and this screen really is nice I'm going to quickly just pop into that YouTube app and just uh, pick any video at random it's not going to be one of mine and just show you how this, this screen works uh, let's pick something that looks as so though it's got some reasonable colors in and it switches round into landscape view let's pop that volume down and you really get an idea of how colourful and absolutely crisp this screen is it probably won't transfer very well onto YouTube because the video is going to be compressed but the quality of the screen is absolutely stunning let's pop that volume up as well and you get an idea of the speaker volume So again, a nice experience for watching video, equally as good for music. So let's cover what I like about the HTC HD2. Well, I absolutely love how snappy it feels. The one gigahertz processor is brilliant, makes everything flow really quickly, absolute joy to use. Uh, I like the media experience, the 4.3 inch screen for playing back things like YouTube videos, uh, videos that I transfer to the handset absolutely fantastic uh, I also love the photo application uh, I showed you this a little bit earlier but I like the way that they animate the photos I like that I can uh, go into one of the photos and then I can actually pinch and zoom like that a lot 
and, and overall it just feels like a very solid, well-made handset. What I don't like, well, I'm not a big fan, as you know, of Windows Mobile operating system, so perhaps that will uh, improve when Windows 7 Mobile comes out. And the battery life could be a little bit better. I think a lot of people uh, struggle to understand that you need to charge these every night, and I just wish that a manufacturer could do something to make these large screen mobile phones perhaps last a couple of days. Well, the HTC HD2 is available at various prices on contract, but if you want a SIM free unlocked version, you're going to pay around about £450 in the UK or $700 in the US. Would I recommend it? Well, if you like your Windows Mobile operating system, then a resounding yes. If you're uh, maybe more used to Android or perhaps uh, a different operating system, then you're obviously going to have to look elsewhere. Thanks very much for listening. This has been Dave from Geek and Oids. Please come back soon and check out more reviews on the Geek and Oids channel. This video review is sponsored by Academy Class, the UK's premier creative IT training centre, authorised by Adobe, Apple and Autodesk.